allegedly. <laughs> Your parents really couldn't think of anything else? I know no family. I only know the secrets of the night, what lies beneath. <laughs>
You've got to turn that bra on upside down, Travis. <laughs> I don't know how my family will survive without me. They'll starve to death. And so will you. That's why they're called the Hunger Games, because you're going to starve to death and then die. You're going to die. Thanks for the reminder. Anytime. I'm Hamish. I'm your mentor for the Hunger Games, here to get you sponsorships and give you life-saving advice. Well, let's hear this life-saving advice. Stay alive. <laughs> How are we supposed to do that? By hiding out in some corner of the arena until you meet your vital hat. Now, who wants alcohol? Katniss might actually have a shot at winning this thing. Oh, really? Why is that? You should see her shoot the bow. She hits the squirrel right in the eye every single time. We buy them off her at my parents' bakery. Squirrels from the bakery? Oh, we put them in the scones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peta is super strong. I've seen him throw bags of flour right over his head. Those bags were empty. <laughs> <laughs> so you can shoot. That's good. Any experience killing other children? <laughs> Only animals, but my friend Gail always says, how different can it really be? Ah, uh, very different. They're children. <laughs> Does he really say that? Jesus Christ, he should be on a watch list or something. He has a troubled past. And a war criminal future. So you can shoot. That's good. Be sure to show Seneca Crane that for individual assessment. You don't have much time before the games. First up is the parade. You're gonna get dressed up by your stylist and then be shown off to the audience and all the sponsors. And then you'll receive training scores and interviews. You need to make sure people People never like me. Then you'll probably die. Good luck! <laughs> oh, sorry, Emily. It takes a lot to look this good. <laughs> what is that smell? Oh, that's probably me. We don't have showers in District 12. <laughs> that's a crime! What? <laughs> I'm Sarah. No, it's brilliant. We're gonna light you on fire. <laughs> Katniss, the girl who was on fire. <laughs> like real <pre> fire? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm very skilled with power techniques. <sighs> you have to trust me. The audience is going to remember you and lots of sponsors.
The song was called Girl on Fire, not Boy on Fire. And I don't really know why. I was on fire too, but nobody seems to be talking about that, now are they? I'm sure they thought about you too. Give it up for Katniss, the Girl on Fire! It's okay, I'm used to it. Nice work, kids. You're doing great. The audience is loving you. Next up, you got uh, you got your uh, training score. Is that right? Maybe if you sober, <laughs> if you do well enough, I can actually sober up and help you. <laughs> oh, you're so uh, generous with your time. That <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> A lovely presentation of this year's bunch. Don't you just love them? <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Each of our tributes here is uniquely talented in their own special way. I can fit my entire fist in my mouth. <laughs> like I said, special way. The tributes will now display those skills to our head game maker, Seneca Crane. <laughs> After which, they will receive a score on a scale of 1 to 12. These scores will help you all in the capital decide which of these hapless children deserve your love and support. What are you going to do? Oh, probably something with a bow. <laughs> Oh my god, you are so cute! I was thinking of just flashing a nip or something. <laughs> wow. For his chosen skill, we have Marvel! <clears throat> Z-Y-X-V-U-T-S-R-P... <laughs> wow! Very impressive! What do we have to say about that? Nine! with that one season. I think so too. Up next, does she have four leaves or is her luck about to run out? Close!
forward to in that arena? Well, I feel like I am just such a girl's girl, you know? So I'm really looking forward to hanging out with all of my gal pals in that arena. Oh, until you murder them in cold blood, of course. <laughs> oh my god, Caesar! You are so crazy! <laughs> but yes, that is entirely correct. Not as crazy as forward to it every year. Well, it looks like you are living your dream. I love this for you, Kato. <laughs> really. And the odds are looking pretty good for you. According to our audience survey, you are currently the fan favorite choice to win. <laughs> I am so honored. I'll try and win a few guys. I love you all. Go Hunger Games! Happy Hunger Games to you too, Kato. Next from the audience, we have Job and Grace. Grace, tell us, what are you most looking forward to that right now? Killing people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Job, <laughs> what kind of skills are you trained in that you think will help you in the games? Um, I'm really good at arts and crafts. I just want to have a good time before I go out. Well, that will certainly keep you alive for the first couple of minutes. We wish you both the best of luck, but the odds are not in your favor. Everyone give it up for Joe Van Gray! Can you elaborate on that, please? Well, the government puts a bunch of teenagers into a maze and they have to run it. The maze runner. <laughs> wow. What a fascinating concept. I'm sure our government will be taking note of that. For future games, tell us. Do they televise these maze running events? No, but they follow us with cameras and do really weird experiments on us. I love that. I really do. Talk. 
up in an interview. <laughs> the voice is speaking for me. <laughs>
the interviews and now you say you're in love with me? You want to fight me to start right now! Okay, have some manners! You just sang in that whole song. You think you'd be a little confused. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna die in a couple minutes in the games anyway. Exactly. They just want a good show, and I can sell the star-crossed lovers from District 12, okay? That will get you sponsorship. Then someone should have told me the plan. And ruin the shock factor? No. Now both of you, pull yourselves together. <laughs> there is nothing to be scared of. I'll be rooting for the both of you. I just wish there was a way that I could show them that they don't own me. Like, if I'm going to die, I want to still be me, you know? Well, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Promise you won't try and kill me. <laughs> That's kind of the whole point, but sure. <laughs> now, before we begin, it's been brought to my attention that two of our audience tributes may not be eligible, so if we could get Grace and Drove up here, please. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> Grace. It has been brought to our attention that you are actually outside of the age bracket eligible to participate in the Hunger Games. Unfortunately, this means you have been disqualified. Please. Hope that you feel the same. 
think it's time for Kato's nap time. A thrilling start to another exciting year of the games. So many young people dead. <laughs> Across the arena, it looks like we have an alliance forming between districts one and two. Cadness! Cadness! Oh, please come down. We just want to hang out with you. No, dude, we have to kill her. Uh, really? Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry, Katniss. Majority rules. I don't think she's even here. <laughs> no. But she was! Oh my god, you totally sick me out every time you do that. There's a fire over there. <laughs> oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey, buddy! How's it going? Look, just make it quick. Well, maybe you can help us. We're looking for your girlfriend. If you help us find her, then you can stick with us. My girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. I don't think she loves me. Oh. No! <laughs> I'm sure she does. <laughs> we just have to find her, and then you can ask her. Oh. Girls play hard to get all the time. I'm sure she's only hiding just because she wants you to come find her. Yeah. You really think so? That yeah, sure. absolutely. Okay, I'm in. Yay! Now all you have to do is say the pledge. No, not the pledge. The pledge is so stupid. If you don't want to die, we're saying the fucking pledge! <laughs> now put your hands on your hearts and repeat. <laughs> I promise. I promise. To be loyal, brave, and true. To be loyal, brave, and true. Loyal, brave, and true. And to follow Cato to all of his victories. And to all of his victories. Amen. 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 Yay! How's it going, Katniss? Stand on Kevin Chan once we find her. In a surprise move from Peter, he has joined the pack to hunt down Katniss. There's no telling what will happen when our lovers reunite. Meanwhile, across the arena, Katniss Everdeen seems to have gotten away from all the action, but something tells me our game makers have a surprise in store for her. Feel the fire in like three, two, one, babe. So funny! Girl on fire? Uh, why couldn't it be girl on water? Girl on her way home? Girl on narcotics? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I smell burning. She's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, the fire scent is great, Brand Main. She doesn't smell like fire, guys. <laughs> she smells like wildflowers. Words. Are you sure that's just the smell of coffee? <laughs> another arrow, so. <laughs> Let's just wait her out. She's gotta come down eventually. We'll just kill her then. Love that. Ingenuity is so important. <laughs> Guys, I just gotta be real with you all. I'm having the time of my life! Aw, Kato! Clove, Marvel, Glimmer, Peter. 
There's no one else I'd rather be here with. You guys are my best friends. I, I love you guys. The feeling is mutual. Oh. Same here. Oh. It'd be so easy to betray you all. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I said me too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is so much fun. Even you, Katniss, I love you. I think it's Kato's bed by the time. Glimmer, you take the first watch. Good night! Hi, everyone! And welcome to my Get Unready With Me after a long day of killing in the arena. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Drunk Elephant Cleanser tonight. Fun fact, this product actually resulted in my very first kill in the games. <laughs> this girl and I were fighting over it at the cornucopia, but her aging skin was beyond repair. So I did her a favor and I slit her throat. <laughs> You're so beautiful, I hope you win. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Caesar, I think that's a tracker jacker nest. Oh. Right, you are. For those of you who don't know, tracker jackers are genetically engineered wasps. Their stings can cause powerful hallucinations, extreme pain, death, and in the worst cases, chlamydia. <laughs> Drop your hair care routine. <laughs> It. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank all of my sponsorships. Effie, it looks as if Katniss is going to drop the Tracker Jacker nest onto the other tribute. These bees are not to be messed with. Their poisonous stinks could easily kill any of them. This play might just turn things around for Miss Everdeen. Let's watch. <laughs>
ecstatic. I just killed someone.
No, Kato. Ow. Don't Ow. be upset. It's okay. Ow. This isn't fair. They blew up all of our supplies. What am I supposed to do with that much snackies? We know how hangry you get. First, she gets a higher score than you. Then, she sends us bees after us. And now she, she blows up our supplies? It's like she's trying to kill me or something! No, we're gonna kill her and bring you her remains! Aw. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, this is why you guys are my best friends. Group hug! You know, I don't know. Kill them, or I kill you. Got it? <laughs> Yay! On three! One, two, three, Kato! Yeah. <laughs> Rue! Rue! I'm over here! So pretty. Look out! Booyah! That was for you, Glimmer. I just know that you're terrorizing all those uggos where the river meets the almighty sea. <laughs>
two victors may be crowned if they are from the same district, babe. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor, honey. Caesar, did you hear yeah. that? I did. Could there be a happy ending for our two lovebirds after all? Oh, if we can really win this thing. Great. You don't seem too happy about it. It's just oh, what, do you not want to play with Kato anymore? No! No one ever wants to play with Kato! You know, back in District 2, kids would get so mad when I'd rip the heads off their stuffed animals or poke them with sticks. It's not my fault I have violent tendencies. My mother says it's a byproduct of male fragility and the fact that didn't love me enough as a child. Whatever the fuck that means! <laughs> Miss want to kill something! Kill something. Not until we find Katniss and Peeta, so we can win this thing. Does, does that mean you'll be my, t my teammate? Sure. Together we can win this thing. Yay! Now let's say the pledge again. Absolutely not. just kids back when her father died. Oh, that must have been so hard, losing your uncle like that. Uncle, what are you talking about? <laughs> Our notes in the capitals say you two are cousins. Cousins? Yeah. Cousins. Is that what she's telling people? I was a pivotal part of her life. We hunted together, we fed our families together. I was in love with her. In love with your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> you know, here in Pan Am, we may not believe in the equitable distribution of resources, but we do believe that love is love. I'm not sure that applies to cousins, though. She's not my cousin! Well, it's been almost an hour into this thing, and she's hardly mentioned you. How does that make you feel? You know, it really sucks to be reduced from a supporting character in a really successful trilogy to a stupid little cameo. I feel like they're all just laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, they are. <laughs> now, how hard it must be to watch her fall in love with Pete up live in front of the entire nation. It really sucks.
Sister. Whoa, I'm sure that there's other... The Capitol will be sending some people over to investigate this. We will not just let innocent children die. Never! <laughs> I mean... Anyway, back to the 74th Hunger Games. So does this mean that you love me? Sure. <laughs> so at least if I die, I'll die a happy man. Okay, uh, we need to get medicine for that leg. The infection is spreading, and I don't know how long you can fight it off. Attention, tributes! Each of you has something that you need desperately, babe. So we thought we'd be generous hosts. We're going to have a feast at the Cornucopia. Each bag with your district number on it has something that you need. You're welcome, hon. <laughs> wow, that's so nice of them. Maybe these games aren't all that bad after all. It'll actually be a violent fight to the death, queen. <laughs> I'm going. No, you're not. You're not going to risk your life for me. I'm fine, see? I can walk. I'm going, and you're staying. No, please don't go, please. Please stay. Please. No. Peter. Fine. I'll stay. Really? Yeah. Ah. Sorry. I love a feast. For those of you starving in the districts, a feast is when you get together and have a large meal. It's a luxury that most of our tributes have never experienced. We are thrilled to share this with our tributes as one of their final experiences. Effie will re be reporting live from the cornucopia. Over to you, Effie. Thanks, Caesar. It's feast day here in the Hunger Games, and I can hardly stand it. Notice how all the tributes are waiting in the corners, none of them daring to make the first move. Brilliant! First play by Fox Face. Absolutely brilliant. It's a big win for the freaky girls out there. <laughs> and Katniss is closing in, and she's got it. Ah, Claire, she's in my clothes. Katniss, down. Who's <laughs> knife play in this <laughs> boat if you're into that? I know you are. 
Yeah, we made it out of marble and glimmer. What is wrong with you? You know, it's Cheeto crying. I'm sorry, that was on all <laughs> No, I just don't know why you would say something like that. They were my friends. You guys killed Rue! <clears throat> huh, you're right. We did kill Rue. And now, I'm gonna kill you! What did you just say? Did you kill that little girl? No, I... Right, just this once, twelve. For Ruth. <laughs> no! <sighs> this isn't fair. How come all my friends keep getting eliminated? Well, Kato, this is the Hunger Games. Everyone dies except one person. They died? Like in real life? Yes, in real life. <laughs> I'm confused. How did you not know this? It's televised live no, every it, year. It's all reality TV. Everybody knows it's fake. It's all staged. Well, with that shocking revelation, we continue with five tributes remaining. Wait! Am I going to die? <laughs> like, if I don't win this, am I going to die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people are just OK with that? Uh, since we're, I think it's time we cut to commercial. <laughs> I got it. I got the medicine. You knocked me out. <laughs> but I got it. We could go home. We could go home. Well, go on then. Open it up. It's Advil. <laughs> <laughs> This year's Hunger Games are proudly sponsored by Advil. Advil, so you can set aside your hunger pains and win the Hunger Games. <laughs> it's extra strength, long lasting, dual action Advil. Wow, they really went the extra mile. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm feeling like. I feel like the victor of the 74th Hunger Games. That's Admiral, folks. <laughs> There ain't a reason you and me should be alone tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, yeah, baby. But I've got a reason that you should take me home tonight. Foxface, Kato, and Thrush left. Foxface? Wait, I haven't seen Foxface since the feast. Is she still alive? I don't know. Apparently, for her individual assessments, she offered the game makers clumps of her hair <laughs> and teeth. <sighs> we should split up. All right, I'll take the bump. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get out of here.
kids die, it makes me feel sad to see them go. But with her, she was just so off-putting, I think I feel safer with her gone. <laughs> I think all of Pan Am is safer with her gone. <laughs> so long. Now only four tributes remain. Victory in all of their grasps. Across the arena, Cato wants down the road.
Let's congratulate the 74th Hunger Games winners, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malarkey. the message from the president. Hello, you got Seneca here. Uh-huh. No, I get it, girl. I, oh, oh, oh. Oh, excuse me. The president wants to have a very serious talk with me right now, but I promise I'll be back for girl talk and then we can talk about that sexy dress you got on, honey. <laughs> oh, I bye. Bye. my sister Prim again, it was all worth it. And now the capital will just leave us alone forever. Leave you alone? Yeah. yeah. Right? I won the games and you leave us alone. You promised. <laughs> we promised! <laughs> oh my god! Can someone get this woman a shower? <laughs> like, great, sorry. <laughs> So you didn't have faith in me? It doesn't matter. You're home now, and you never have to go anywhere ever again. Oh. Oh, Peter, I almost forgot. So, you never told me. What are we? We can figure it out after we work through all that trauma we experienced together. Yep. Yep. 